hello everyone once again welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we are going to understand how to troubleshoot layer 2 ether channel right layer 2 ether channel maybe in next video i will uh, discuss how to troubleshoot layer 3 ether channel as well but now in this video we are going to troubleshoot ether channel layer 2 ether channel so you can see this is my ticket right and i am going to discuss the real time scenario right and interview is also asking this type of question in interview ether channel is one of the most topics of switching right so many time interview are asking question from ether channels right they will give you scenario like this and here you can see problem is a junior network administrator has approached you indicating that the ether channel bundle c is trying to form between switch 1 and switch 2 is not forming right that means someone is trying to form ether channel between switch 1 and switch 2 but it's not forming right so you need to do troubleshoot so guys first of all we will start troubleshooting from switch 1 so first command that you need to run to troubleshoot ether channel is so ether channel summary right so this command will tell you that your uh, ether channel is down or up right so let me run here on this switch so ether channel summary summary okay yes so you can see here my port is down d stand for down and these are two physical port and this one is my logical port so my logical port is down right so we will check that my physical link is up or not first of all then we will check uh, okay so here you can see s this s is indicating layer 2 ether channel right okay then we will check a speed bandwidth right so those information should be match right then only ether channel will come up so here you can see in so ether channel summary command we have created one channel group number one that is now down and which protocol i have used lacp which protocol I have used here on switch 1 LACP so maybe that on switch 2 uh, I am running different protocol right maybe I am running PAGP so that can be the reason that can be also a reason right uh, because of that ether channel is not forming between switch 1 and switch 2 but first of all we will check some information of these two physical interface okay so second command that you will run is so interface e 0 slash g 0 slash 0 and switch port guys this command will tell you uh, that this port is access port or trunk port which trunking protocol you are um, configured here okay so see here operational mode is down right and administrative mode is trunk so this interface is configured as trunk right okay trunk and operational mode is down and which encapsulation protocol i have used here dot one q okay so negotiation of trunking is also on okay and trunking native vlan is this one okay so this interface is uh, configured administratively trunk let me check another physical interface so interface e this time zero slash one and switch port so here you can see first problem here administrative mode is dynamic auto right so <laughs> administrative mode should match right then only ether channel will form so here what we can do either we can configure this link as trunk link or we can configure 0 slash 0 as access port access port for which vlan for vlan 1 so here you can here you can see this port is member of vlan 1 right access port but this port 0 slash 0 is trunk port right this port is trunk so what we can do here what we can do here here I am going to change the administrative mode interface e 0 slash 0 and uh, switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 10 now i am getting some okay so 
e0/1 is compatible with port channel okay okay now i have some error here you can see suspended this these port are now suspended here so ether channel summary let me run one more time this command still you can see port channel is down but so interface trunk there is no any trunk link okay so interface e 0/0 and this time i am going to check uh, bandwidth speed of interfaces right the speed of both interfaces must match okay so see bandwidth is 10000 mtu is this one okay delay is this one now line protocol of this interface is down here you can see line protocol is down so definitely i will do trouble shoot on switch 2 also just wait but first of all let me check here A speed okay and let me check another uh, speed on another interface so here also you can see bandwidth is 10000 delay this one this one okay so these information are same i think so now everything is okay on switch 1 so ether channel summary right let me check configuration of switch 2 then maybe i will come on switch 1 again right so, but first of all i am going to check configuration of switch 2 Where is message to? Yes, here it is. Here also I have some error. Okay, some log message you can see. Now enable and so ether channel summary. Okay, so <laughs> guys here you can see on switch two we are running which protocols PAGP and that's why we are getting these log messages here, right? so your protocol is mismatch so either you can configure here lacp or you can configure pagp on switch 1 so let me configure lacp here also go to config t then interface let me show you topology as well okay so interface range e 0/0 to 1 and channel group it suppose 2 and mode is active active okay now which protocols i'm running okay so it's saying that range command terminated because it's fail on ethernet 0/0 okay let me check something guys so interface e 0/0 switch port okay so this port is dynamic auto and operation mode is down switch port is enabled encapsulation okay negotiation for trunking is on right here you can see uh, this port is member of which vlan vlan 10 so okay this port is member of vlan 10 right and let me check this port one Okay, so this port is member of VLAN one, right? So first of all, let me configure interface E zero slash zero switch port access uh, VLAN one. Fine. Okay. Now go to configure terminal E zero slash zero two one interface range, right? And channel group two. and mode is active okay so command rejected this this is already part of channel group let me check which channel group i am running here so ether channel summary so group number 2 right so first of all remove let me remove the ether channel configuration from here so interface range e0/0 to 1 and i am saying no channel group 2 mode i think which mode i have run here how we can check actually i am running pagp protocol so in pagp mode can be desirable or mode can be auto 
so this mode is desirable i think okay fine now if you will check configuration or ether channel configuration summary you can see there are no any port fine now i am going to configure lscp interface range e0/02 one and channel group two and mode is active fine now guys let me check is the third channel working fine or not so it third channel summary okay so now you can see this port logical port is up on switch 1 also you can verify so it third channel summary you can see port are up and here also you can see p p stand for what p stand for bundle in port channel so now ether channel is working fine as a network engineer this is how you can troubleshoot so you know do to troubleshoot basic basic thing knowledge is required like if i am checking so interface e 0/0 right so here uh you should have knowledge about this part if i will put switch port here right so you should be able to read this information like what is the meaning of administrative mode what is the meaning of operational mode right each and everything so uh, still here i think this port is down operational mode is down okay so ether channel mm -hmm. switch port so okay now you can see A static access and operational mode is down suspended number of bundle on port 1 encapsulation protocol is this one access uh, for which vlan for vlan 10 so i think this port 0/0 is member of vlan 10 interface e 0/0 or we can check so vlan brief yes so here you can see this port 0/0 is member of vlan 10 so here also we need to configure interface e 0/0 switch port access vlan 10 right now no 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 sorry switch port access vlan 1 interface e 0/0 and switch port access vlan 1 here now so interface e 0/0 switch port so here now you can see again operational mode is down right so what we need to do we need to shut down this interface interface e 0/0 say shut and again say no shut okay and so ether channel summary so my ether channel logical port is up so both a uh, physical link should be same so it can be uh, access or can be trunk still you can see this port is suspended this port is still suspended and on switch 2 let me check on switch 2 on switch 2 also you can see e0/0 is suspended right so so vlan brief so no here vlan is fine so interface e0/0 okay so bandwidth is this one and uh, port is up but line protocol is down suspended why guys just wait let me check uh, keep alive after okay so here you can see mode is half duplex mode of this port is half duplex so as you know mode should be same so on is less one let me check mode here you can see mode is full duplex so yes here we need to change mode interface is 0 slash 0 and duplex full duplex okay and now so ether channel 
summary now you can see this port is here you can see w and w stand for what here you can see waiting for waiting to be aggregated so now you can see both ports are okay so this port is still suspended this port is still suspended so again we need to check this port so here bandwidth is fine duplex is now full duplex okay and this port is switch port this port is dynamic auto and operational mode is static access okay for which villain for villain one so no here everything is fine now let me check on switch one so interface e 0 slash 0 so okay bandwidth is fine here duplex is full duplex okay this one edge interface is down suspended mm -hmm. this port is switch port so here you can see here you can see administrative mode is static access but here on switch 2 you can see this port is dynamic auto so let me run one more command over here oh my god now it will take some time okay so till then let me check some information here okay enabled static access more bundle on this port encapsulation is dot one q okay and on switch two let me check encapsulation protocol as well so interface e0 slash zero switch port okay so dynamic auto here I am going to set interface e0 slash 0 switch port mode access right now you can see a static access and so ether channel summary still this port is suspended so I had one log message is not compatible with this one and will be suspended trunk mode of 0 slash 0 is access and here is dynamic so you know 0 slash 0 mode is access and 0 slash 1 mode is dynamic so now I am going to change interface E 0 slash 1 and switch port mode access okay and so ether channel summary now you can see it's waiting just wait for some time